project is a non-profit foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash Berlin Explorer. Okay, welcome to Vincent Migren for this 15 minute of podcast. I'm really excited about that because his work is so amazing and I want to introduce him as Vincent Migran is a Parisian photographer who loves to immortalize his daily life and uh, about square shapes, graphic and colorful. His photos reflect the world as he's seen it, poetic, urban and very often unusual. And uh, if you want to see the work of Vincent, uh, just go on vincentmigrain.com or on Instagram as uh, vinmig. And welcome to this podcast. Hello. Uh, we talk about 50 minutes of one of, I think, uh, a lot of experience you accumulated uh, in your life. So I hope this is not uh, just one of the podcasts and I hope to do it uh, many more in the future. Cool, cool. <laughs> so, what uh, what is the story of today? What you talk to us about today? About photography, I hope. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I'm a very big. I'm a photographer, but I'm a very big fan of photography. Firstly, so. I, Instagram is a important source of creativity for me. I spend a lot of time on Instagram, not to see the selfie of people, I don't care, not to see beautiful girl uh, with dog face, it's not my world. But Instagram, there is a, there is a place for good photographers too, for photographers from Iran, photographers from Italy, from all over the world, from Paris, incredible guys, from Brittany. Every day I discover new photographers, street photographers, what I prefer, what I am doing. And uh, it's always uh, amazing how, um, how much talented people they are on Instagram and how much no talented people they are too on Instagram. Yeah, it's totally true. I, I think too the same. I think uh, in a way it's uh, also really nice uh, that we have platform, many platform because in this uh, also experience of uh, big project I'm doing, uh, I'm trying also to get in touch with people, uh, not only from Instagram, but also from uh, different other websites. And uh, yeah, we have a really uh, big differences between people who really know a lot about photography and people who doesn't know anything about photography. Most of the time, photography take this dress to be just the one... Uh, of the aesthetic part, just the images. And that's why I started this project and I wanted to, you know, scream in the crowd, in the middle of this crowd and say, look, it's, uh, photography is not just an image, it's experience with a lot of value, a lot of life, a lot of stories. Mm -hmm. And every photographer for me in this case uh, is uh, in a way, uh, that one is uh, uh, giving to the others uh, part of this reality we share. Yes, absolutely. I think that the, a good photography could be shot by a good photographer or um, a guy who just start photography. It just the, it's the subject, the light, and uh, the composition of the image. 
I follow people who are not very experienced in photography, but they are they have the touch. Yeah, I, I feel it. I see it. It's incredible. My, I say, oh my God, they are so talented. You can, you can say they have the French touch. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. French touch, in a way, it's something. Yeah, now uh, connect me to a past experience. In the past, then not ten years ago, but eight years ago, I was working in the music a lot, and um, with DJs, and there was a lot of DJs. There was they was using this French touch. And uh, I researched a lot about, and we can say, and why I use now this uh, word uh, is not uh, really relevant about the French, but about the origin of the, this French touch. And the, this French touch uh, has, um, it's really important because as a touch totally different from others, because I think what to make unique that is, uh, that come from, uh, uh, French and the French has a lot of expression. I mean, it's a leader of expression in the, our history. And in a way or another, we are, every one of us, um, influenced by that. Yeah. I am too French to, <laughs> to, to answer well. You know, I, I have no background. I am totally in, totally French. Um, yes, in, in France, we have a lot of incredible photographer from the past um, you know uh, I don't have the name on my on my mind at this moment but um, I have only English photographer or American yes but Jean-Francois Jean Lartigue uh, so incredible um, I think that they, they, they were at the beginning they did a lot of photography in the street uh, that's why perhaps the the influence on street photography, and after in the 60s, a lot of American photographers did it in New York. Street photography became a real. Uh, it, it was right and it, it was a touch. What I like when I do a picture, when I see my picture, is about the composition, the light, the subject, and what is important. It is. Does this picture tell the story? When we see the pictures, I need, to, I like, when you can write a story about what this guy is doing, what these people are thinking. I, I like when uh, it is a moment of life and you can imagine what will happen or, or what happened just one minute before. I like that. Can you tell uh, and share with us uh, some uh, experience you had during taking picture? Uh, something really touched you a lot and why? What happened in front of you and uh, what happened inside of you? <laughs> um, very often I see the, the photo before I take the photo you know i see i was in iceland two weeks ago fantastic place light exceptional and i was i was on a cave and i was waiting i was on a cave and a part of the picture was was a stone and I see there is a, a big st uh, stone coming from the sea. And I told me it was good if someone could walk just behind. And a guy is coming and he was looking at that. He was looking upstairs and it was, he was just on the good front and he was uh, on the same position as the rock behind him. Click. Voilà. I, I was wondering that someone could work and stop here and this guy stop here and looking upstairs and oh my god I've got the picture and I am like this I think I so I take, I take a lot and uh, I, I'm looking I have it I have it 
yeah. sometimes I sometimes I don't have it. You know, I imagine something that I that my camera doesn't capture. And and this time, what uh, what do you feel uh, exactly? I mean, uh, do you feel like uh, yeah, okay, it's, okay, didn't work, uh, fuck, without any problem, or it's something uh, uh, touch you us in a way like oh, yeah. persuasion. Yeah. At the moment when I take the photo, I think that perhaps I have it. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. It's after when I, after on the evening, I'm looking the pictures I did in the day. It's at that moment that I said, oh, my God, I think she's really cool. But sometimes I look at and I don't, I don't like it uh, because uh, I thought it was good. It's not good. But the next one will be the better, you know? It's always um, yeah. It's always an evolution. I, I don't have regrets, you know. Uh, it's when you your your photo is bad, you understand why it's bad and when it's bad because the the, the light is not good, because the the guy the position is not good, because you are too far, because uh, a lot of things. Um, you will be. It's an experience. You will be prepared for the next one. So I am too far. Okay, I'm going. I'm going closer. I'm totally uh, agree with that. You know, it's it's the way you learn. You see, this photo could be really good, but that 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 makes that. Sorry, it's not enough. Uh, yeah, I totally. Agree. I totally agree. It's, with it's you like this. About. Practice, uh, practice, practice. In the same way, I also think uh, sometimes. Um, we can we don't have uh, the right experience uh, to see the powerful of our images so then uh, what i do it as an editor not only as a photographer in this case uh, as an editor uh, uh, for me i have to say it's uh, really easy uh, to watch the powerful of images of others as you know uh, when you are distant from yourself you can watch the other in a totally different way um When I edited uh, my first long project uh, was so difficult and I was really frustrated about myself, about the picture I was doing because I was working with an idea of something. So I was working only with ideas until the moment I understood that photography is not an idea, it's what happened in front of me. And uh, the only things I can do it is to be prepared to shut or to be in the moment in the in a perfect way and uh, if it doesn't work it doesn't work it's okay it doesn't exactly. matter and um, i say that because uh, sometimes yeah uh, we don't have the right picture in that moment but probably sometimes we don't see at all the right picture probably we have the best picture we ever did in our life but we don't know that yes it's like when when you are the casino you know when you play at the the casino you know you you have the you know you, you have to dice. with your card you know your dice you know you, you do a double uh, double six yes or sometimes you do nothing all all is bad it's like this it's life or it's like an hunter you know an hunter who are looking for for poor animal i'm not at all an hunter <laughs> but it's like I, with my camera I'm a little bit an hunter you know, I see places mm, good places to take a photography good light, mm, perhaps it's good oh, nobody's coming at the moment when I go out <gasps> okay, this woman with this yellow hat fantastic, uh, it's not for me yeah, it's, I, I, I like you know what also that uh, now that I meet you in a way you are what you should be. you are your photography totally i mean uh, uh the way you talk the way you <laughs> express yourself now also if uh, you told me your english is not the best probably yeah, it's not uh, yeah it's not your mother tongue and uh, you cannot express yourself totally as uh, you do it in the, with your mother tongue but uh, totally represent uh, the the picture i see And uh, what I see is uh, really a poetic person. Um, mm. uh, I don't want to use this word, but probably I have to use because I don't find any other words uh, 
but uh, the beauty and sometimes it's uh, misunderstood that the beauty but um, the beauty is inside of your pictures touching uh, um, some point silent and this point silent uh, is like they are screaming of um, uh, pure uh, <clears throat> natural power this is Thanks. what i get from your picture and this is what i like it a lot uh, when i selected the uh, first time your work and i have discovered you for me it was like <clears throat> the picture are really simple but really powerful and this is for me exactly what i would love to uh, communicate to others also it's uh, not important how much you are really good in um, shooting photography or you have the best camera in the world you can do it the best post-production in the world if the picture doesn't work in the base and um, not I work i think that it's it's exactly like the music you know you know you can have a really good songs with a poor guitar you know it could be fantastic if the song the song is good you can play it with a a little banjo, ding, 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 it will be beautiful. Or with the, the Prague Orchestra, it will be beautiful too. But you know, um, doesn't need a lot of materials. You know, I, I, I'm very bad about uh, to speak about a photo, a camera. I'm very bad. I, 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 uh, it's the same for me. I like pictures. You know, my, my mind, I like pictures. I want to do pictures. My uh, camera is in an automatic position. Yes. All the purists will kill me. But yeah. you know, I, I, because uh, I am in the, in the moment, you know, I don't have time to do all the... I trust my camera to give the, the, the light there is, there is at the moment. Yeah, totally. And, and I, on the post-production, is uh, really nothing. Sometimes a, uh, a close-up, uh, you know, or yeah. like this. But I shoot in square. Yeah. Or I uh, shoot in square that uh, I know my uh, my frame. I shoot a little bit larger. So I know that I can... Uh, crop a bit. A little bit crop a, li a little bit. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this yeah, I'm a, I'm not a, a cropper. I have to say, I'm not someone crop a lot uh, in post production. I crop uh, a lot uh, in the vision. So then uh, uh, I'm uh, really used to crop the picture without uh, using uh, post production. But uh, I also understood that sometimes it's better just to stay a step behind the picture you are cropping with your eyes, so that you have a more yeah a little bit uh i saw the the, the picture and I, I do always a little bit larger i know that i will crop it you know i will have the the perfect or you know yeah totally yeah. so i want to just uh, ask you last things then our 50 minutes yes. are going to yes and um i want to ask you uh if um there is uh, something in your life, uh, I mean, in general, in your life, not only as a photographer, but something that photography gave to you the opportunity to get back something really important for yourself. An experience uh, uh, completely changed, not completely, but uh, highlighted something yeah. you didn't know about yourself. Yeah, about... I have a lot of examples, you know. Uh, three years ago, I was in New York. I started pictures with a knife, unlike a lot of people. Now I have a camera, normal camera. And I, I shot uh, people on the street in Harlem, uh, kids who are playing with water. And uh, on my way, with lines uh, squared, uh, colorful, uh, people, uh, uh, the life, and uh, there was a, 
uh, you know, uh, um, on the underground, uh, Metro Parisien take a concours, a big um, uh, photo request. And I sent this picture. It was um, Harry Gruert, the president of the jury. And uh, I was selected to be one of the 50 photographers for cities. I, and uh, I see my pictures in the underground in a big, uh, big format. And uh, at this moment, it was not, it was no more my pictures. It was a picture of a lot of people. And a lot of people were talking about it. It was incredible. I didn't see all that the people have in mind seeing that photography you know what is um, when your photos are highlighted by i uh, seen by a lot of people uh, this photo is not more yours it's a people of is the photo of a lot of people and they have a lot of way to to speak about you didn't imagine that yeah uh, totally uh, i i have a sentence i have read in a book uh, 10 years ago that uh, can jump out to my mind uh, listening that and this uh, the sentence was uh, uh, in the moment uh, the artist made the art the art is not anymore the artist so the art is mm -hmm. uh, public uh, and uh, it's like i mean uh, we can say it's like when you do it a child uh, and uh, yeah it's your child but uh, it's not you and this is um, the things that you have to just let free and express, uh, give the expression needs, deserve, and other people will see it something more or something less. And I thank you a lot for this short but really nice conversation. I hope to really have many other conversations with you because I think what we need uh, today is um, to talk about our photography uh, as an editor in this case and also as a photographer I think that uh, we are in a world uh, too, too much in the rush and uh, always doing zapping on our Instagram or other social network and really not focusing on uh, the images we have in front of us especially also I think in the gallery they, we don't have any more the time to just sit there on the ground and watching something because we are really in this mood to we have to work and to do that or to do that others and uh, uh, yeah this podcast uh, focus is made on that uh, I want not give 30 minutes one hour I want to give 50 minutes at least but 50 minutes that uh, people can hear it something really interesting and uh, I think uh, and this is what I feel uh, uh, I'm getting a lot from everyone I'm talking with Thank you a lot for this uh, short talk. Thank you. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to, to talk about photography. So, so thank you. Thank you. And uh, hope to talk to you again one day. Yeah, sure. With, with a lot of pleasure. And thank you for all you do for photography. Yeah, it's, 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 I think everyone was is uh, alive uh, as to give something to this world or is better to don't be alive wow <laughs>